So the Odom School of Ecology has our faculty, our staff, and our students, and we are working together to try to understand better how natural systems work. And so we have some core areas that we focus on, including ecosystem ecology, building on the legacy of Gene Odom, trying to understand how energy and nutrients flow through nature. We work on conservation ecology, trying to understand how natural systems are responding to human activities like climate change and habitat disruptions. And then we also have a core strength in infectious disease ecology, trying to understand how pathogens spread through populations and looking at different strategies for controlling infectious diseases. I think UGA has a um, unique place internationally in infectious disease uh, research. And the reason for that is what we do involves information that we need from virologists and immunologists, and we have world-class people in the College of Veterinary Medicine who work on that. My own work requires um, ideas that we borrow from ecology, so the Odom School of Ecology is first-rate um, in that uh, field. We have a real strength here at the University of Georgia in the ecology of infectious diseases. So people who are interested in understanding parasites in nature or the way in which parasites and hosts interact in nature um, outside the control conditions of the clinical environment or, or medical care. Ecology is more important or more relevant now than ever before in part because human activities at a global scale are changing our natural systems so quickly now. And so we need to understand how those natural systems work and to try to better understand and predict how they're gonna respond to that change. So many people um, don't know what's going on with our aquatic environments. And part of what I love is teaching and having so many students say, oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that 50% of streams in the US are in poor condition. And there are solutions out there. And what I like to do is put together what the solutions are with how we are impacting streams and rivers negatively. Our big question really is how the plants and animals and fishes that, that live in rivers like this respond to environmental change, whether it be climate change or things we're doing, land use change. And a lot of our focus is on the effects of changing stream flow regimes on those populations of plants and animals. So here at Odom School of Ecology, UGA, I study animal behavior. And my overall research question is, how do animals learn? The way they process information maybe or can be similar to how we humans process information. To study this, we study um, animal movement, so including ants and pigeons. So by studying behavior of ants and movement of pigeons, we can learn how similar or dissimilar to how we humans learn. In just about all our projects, we look for opportunities to engage graduate students. So we've got this dual mission of solving problems for clients and for partners. At the same time, we're training next generation of ecologists, policy analysts, and practitioners. We've got folks who are doing things like studying freshwater crabs in Costa Rica, figuring out water management challenges in the Middle East, looking at dam operations in India, I'm passionate about it just because I love ecology. I love being outdoors. I love being in streams. And I recognize the important impact that humans have on them. So I'm really interested in sort of understanding those relationships and finding ways to, you know, better conserve ecosystems. I love our nature. So many of us a walk in the woods. There's nothing else like it. And it's so important to me to figure out what might be happening. Are we somehow changing the way forests, ecosystems, and other ecosystems are doing their thing? Are we changing that? And if so, how? And what does that mean for the forests of the future? One of the things that I really like about the ecology of infectious diseases is the opportunity to make a difference. So we're doing basic science, but we're doing it with an eye toward decision making that matters for wildlife health, animal health, and human health. The first thing I love about my job is the people that I work with. They inspire me every day. And also getting to ask questions 
questions about science that satisfy curiosity, teaching and working with students. So I'm really glad I decided to come to the Odin School of Ecology. I think both of my co-advisors are extremely well-rounded scientists and very supportive. So I'm really glad just for the lab environments that I experience. And then Odom as a whole has a great community of graduate students, but also faculty and staff that really know how to help students succeed. To learn more about our mission, our research, our degree programs, and our outreach activities, visit our website at ecology.uga.edu.